Orienteering is an orienteering challenge in an urban environment. Trying to find your way around the suburbs, uh, through the little alleyways and the shopping centres. It's on the streets as opposed to regular orienteering, which is usually in the bush. You basically have to go out and find as many controls as possible in a certain time period. And you have a compass and a map when you run around. We move from suburb to suburb, we run around, we chase those little orange and yellow triangles. Roads, alleyways, shops and schools. We, we look pretty cool doing it, um, but I think it's a lot of fun. In street orienteering we all gather together in a park and uh, when uh, the starting whistle blows we all run off in a myriad of directions. You get your map when they say go. You can pick the challenge that you want so you can run or walk and then you can get as many controls as you feel that you want to get on the night. And you can do it in any order. The map in street orienteering is fantastic. It's really good for um, I, I guess beginners. So you'll get a general area and it'll, it might say a slide or an Australia post box or a letter box. Try and run there as quick as you can and uh, clip a little card that you've got and then once you've got your 15 or your 20 or your 30 and they're called controls, you run back and see how, we, how you did. Street orienteering for us is a great way to get out as a family. It's not very often you get to do something in summer and particularly that's so family friendly. It's a chance to run around the streets in a lovely evening. It's, it's fun. And it's a great way to get some exercise. It's a lot different to just doing an ordinary jog. A bit of a change from being at the desk and in the office and uh, it's a good opportunity to meet a few people and uh, have a bit of a chat afterwards. One thing I really like about street orienteering is that it's usually quite local so it doesn't take long to get to and it's fun to see new areas, especially in suburbs that you don't often run through. Uh, for me in particular, it's a good way to go out for a run and not go for a run. Like I get fitness plus I don't have to think about it too much because I'm worrying about the map. It's a mental stimulation. It's not just walking down this street round the corner around the block. It's mentally stimulating the whole time you're out there. Um, I'm a bit of a competition freak so I find the competition fun. I like the like fruit at the end. It's pretty I think accessible for someone off the street to sort of, if you can read a street map you can go street orienteering. There are people who have all sorts of problems. They've got metal joints so they're unfit. They're whatever reason they can't run. But they can always street orienteer as long as they can walk at all. Even if they just start with a few controls and, and build up from there. It's something anybody can do. 